Okay, so the availability of spectrum is a critical enabler for, for 5G services. And that fact is not lost on governments who've been rapidly making more spectrum available in many countries or territories. Um, but another driver for governments is the benefit to the national purse. Spectrum is worth money. You can see from the charts here that the money spent by operators varies widely from country to country. These charts highlight just a small part of the data now available in GSA's uh, Spectrum auction database, and they reflect data um, based on our latest study up to uh, mid-November 2021. GSA's now catalogued C-band auctions or assignments in over 50 countries uh, since the start of 2015. Obviously, many more countries uh, issued C-band spectrum before that for um, uh, well, sometimes for LTE services, sometimes for legacy fixed wireless access technologies. But uh, since 2015, they've had very much had their eyes on certainly advanced LTE and in, in many cases, 5G services. And the recent average cost of C-band spectrum bought in auctions has come out at about $0.116 per megahertz per pop. But you can see that the figures range quite, quite dramatically between the, the, the highest numbers there in the USA and Slovakia uh, down the bottom of the chart on the left that, uh, that barely registers. Um, by comparison, uh, millimeter wave licenses supporting 5G services rather than millimeter wave supporting backhaul or point to point or point to multipoint services have now been assigned to operators in 24 countries and the prices paid for millimeter wave spectrum have been much lower than the prices paid for C-band spectrum to date with the price per megahertz per pop ranging from just over um, $0.001 in the US for spectrum at 47 gigahertz to just over $0.009 for spectrum at 37 and 39 gigahertz also in the US. And, and the difference in prices between uh, uh, the difference in the cost paid um, for millimeter wave and C-band is, is really down to the economics of deployment it reflects the fact that to achieve much higher to achieve the same coverage you have to deploy many more um, uh, millimeter wave base stations and, and it's not being used as a, as a coverage band it's being used for capacity in, in selected areas GSA's done some analysis of the money spent on all 5G relevant auctions and assignments, irrespective of spectrum band. And during 2021, up to mid-November, when these data sets were compiled, and counting only those auctions and assignments for which GSA has fee data, the total value of spectrum auctions and assignments had already reached $137.5 billion. Now, that's a huge increase on the 2020 value of $27.5 billion for the entire year, although... Um, the, the pandemic had a big impact on um, the number of auctions that took place, um, uh, especially during the early parts of 2020. Now that figure is a month or so old, and with more auctions having taken place since then, the figure will have edged uh, closer to the $150 billion mark, which I'm sure you, you will agree is a quite substantial sum of money. <clears throat> And operators have been using all that spectrum that uh, they've been buying. Uh, this slide shows how operators around the world are, are, are using it, or more, more specifically, which spectrum assignments they're using for their 5G networks. It's not a straight mapping to auctions. In a number of countries where auctions have yet to take place, we've seen operators launching services using ex existing spectrum, uh, using uh, dynamic spectrum sharing technology, for example, and sharing spectrum between the LTE and 5G networks. Nonetheless, you can clearly see that C-band spectrum between 3.3 and 4.2 megahertz is way out in front in terms of uh, deployment by operators for 5G services. Um, GSA has uh, documented now 218 operators who are licensed to deploy, who have deployed or are deploying. Um, and over 50 others are investing in test or trials or, or at the, the planning stage. In terms of overall activity, Millimeter wave at 26, 28 gigahertz follows with 93 licenses, the majority of those in the USA and 27 uh, deploying networks. But in, in terms of actual deployments so far, the other spectrum band to watch is 700 megahertz. This is increasingly important with operators using it to quickly expand their 5G network coverage. Um, there are another 24 auctions or assignments of 700 megahertz spectrum expected by the end of 2023. Um, and it's important to note as well that the, the figures shown on this chart only reflect those 700 megahertz licenses recently awarded for 5G usage. They exclude the many hundreds of 700 megahertz licenses awarded historically around the world in band 28, in the US bands, 
um, for uh, usage for LTE. And that spectrum, if refarmed, is potentially available for 5G usage too.